The finale of the 2012 RC44 tour played out in waters off the beautiful Croatian city of Ravine. At stake here for the 15 strong fleet, not only the series and match racing title, but the chance to be crowned world champion. As for match racing, well that title went to Synergy Russian sailing team after a hard fought tussle with the Lef and last year's match race champions, Team Aqua. With the match racing finished off, the focus shifted to the next four days of fleet racing. The first three days of fleet racing were hard fought, not only producing some memorable sailing, but underlining the high level of competitors and competition in this growing class. The scores before the final day, well they told a story. Ten races run, seven different winners. The intense tricky conditions out on the race course were hard, preventing any one team from establishing real breathing room at the top of the table. Putting in solid performances and leading proceedings from the off, tour leaders Team Aqua. Also up at the top were Igor Lars RC44 Team Suri. As the week progressed, another star began to shine. John Bassadoni's Peninsula Petroleum were finding their form. The only team able to string together back-to-back -to -back race wins. This result now leaves us uh, second in the, in the championship, but it's still very, very close at the top, so everything's all, all's to play for. Morning of the final day and Peninsula Petroleum are looking to build on what has been a fantastic week for them. And in race one, a 12th for Team Aqua and a 6th for Sarif saw their World Championship title chances going off the rails. John Bassadoni's crew jumped to the top of the scoreboard for the first time this event. Race two saw a return to form for Aqua and Sarif. but another victory for Peninsula allowed them to build on their early advantage. The final race of the event saw Synergy Russian sailing team take charge. At the back of the fleet, Aqua, Peninsula and Sarif were all having a bad race. As Synergy took the line, the real celebrations were aboard Peninsula Petroleum. A ninth place enough to secure them the World Championship title, the whole crew euphoric at their superb achievement. It's just uh, unbelievable. Uh, you know, we're all uh, a little bit in shock actually. R literally up to the very, very end, anything could have happened. A great way to end the year, can't wait for the next regatta. Um, you know, the, the good thing is that we've progressed all during the year and uh, yeah, what a, no, no better way to finish the season. For Team Aqua, well they didn't get the championship title win here in Croatia, but have done enough all season to retain the RC44 series title, making them the first team ever to achieve back-to-back -back victories. Yeah, I mean, we won the year, came second in the world, so nothing to uh, nothing to complain about. I think it's great. I mean, it, it goes to show that uh, you know John John had a tough race up in Sweden, and uh, to be able to come here and put in the result they put in is, is phenomenal, and it just goes to show that it's uh, it's all fair game out there. Mm -hmm.